Perhaps one of the scariest scenarios in the pandemic is this. What if we have too many patients and not enough ventilators? THV 11's Roly Hoyt says many people who got 3D printers as toys are now using them to make necessary medical tools. When World War II hit, we needed battleships and tanks to win. Millions headed to the factories to build them. To beat coronavirus, we're going to need ventilators. So now the call goes out to makers in their homes to help us build the parts. I think a lot of these, the, the folks who purchased 3D printers were purchasing for, for fun. And it turns out we need them on the front line. They need them the front line workers. The Innovation Hub in North Little Rock is dark for now, but the innovators who tinker there are buzzing away at home. Um, I made a robot on my first day, and after that I had been involved ever since. I was volunteer, and now I'm actually an educator there. Hannah Munsberg has a chance to be this generation's Rosie the Riveter. She's part of the large movement of big brain makers using things like 3D printers to solve the looming shortage of medical equipment. Things like valves and splitters that Hannah is working on. Um, and it is to help multiple people use one ventilator um, in case of the, the pandemic getting bad enough to really need to have that utilized. It's, it's amazing to watch how almost overnight that you found uh, that the community was first was brought together uh, and really focused on supporting those frontline workers. Challenges remain. Manufacturers and makers have been working on the fly to figure out what they need and how much the community can help. But it shows how even the youngest among us, who weeks ago didn't think COVID-19 concerned them, can now help out. It really is a broad community of makers that includes uh, young folks who brought a 3D printer thinking that they would print toys and now are uh, helping. Just in time, the Innovation Hub is launching a live webinar this Friday, getting started with 3D printing. They look to answer questions and have folks building medical devices by the time they're done. In North Little Rock, Rolly Hoy, THV 11 News.